your neck. Looks like you're still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. Mm. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing about New Zealand. It is a very beautiful country, don't get me wrong. Like, it's beautiful enough to a point where we have had all of the Lord of the Rings movies uh, filmed here. I think parts of Avatar were filmed here, I'm not sure. Um, and it's one of the few countries in the world where you can just road trip from north to south on the weekend, just have an absolutely wonderful time, and it doesn't really matter where you end up, you're always going to find something unique, something beautiful, something that you've never seen before. As far as living here goes, unless you have a high paying job, or you have a very, or you're financially well off, yeah, yeah, honestly, I love it, but unless you're financially well off, and you're not at an entry point in whatever your personal business is, I really wouldn't recommend it because typically speaking, New Zealand has a very um, very horrific cost of living um, thing going on, which isn't unique to anywhere, but it's... Our, our pay, re we really don't pay people well enough given how desperately we need them. And it's severe enough to a point where it's quite common when people get to... Um, when people are starting out in their careers and they get to a point where they're not exactly entry-level, but they're not quite experienced, they literally just move to Australia instead. So, to visit, yes, I would always, always recommend it. But if you are planning to move this far south and you're wanting to have a future here, I would, I would ask you to consider... Australia first, because generally, because while they may have their own problems politically, financially speaking, even in the sh long term and the short term, you're gonna be well, way better off. Um, otherwise, yeah, like if you can, if you don't need to rely on finances too much, sure. Um, one thing I would recommend is you are, if you are going to move here, try to live as far away from major city centers as possible because the further out from the city centers you live uh, the cheaper rent is but even so rent's getting absolutely stupid at the moment but yeah that, that's just my two cents on if New Zealand's worth it or not I'm not saying it's not I'm just saying there are well, I can't just there are things that, that you need to consider before you move here from the look of you I'm guessing you're more looking to cause some trouble for the whole gotta be honest I, I can totally vibe with that. Ah, I think that'll be just the trick. Yeah. Because that, that's the thing. One thing I've noticed, because I have been, been interested in moving to other places, me. is New Zealand you know, has its problems, which are very much quality. similar to everywhere else. So I, I wouldn't exactly call it an upgrade. I'm just saying consider the expense of moving here. <laughs> before the other hawkers know who let slip their secret. But whereabouts do you live, if you don't mind my asking? Good day, friend. Better not it's get the first bit of good news I've had. Here's your cup. <laughs> yeah. I've heard Canada can be quite polarizing at the moment, because on the one hand... On the one hand, it's... It can be picturesque in quite places, in some places, but... Yeah. I think it's crazy high here, and that's... Mm. Yeah, yeah, no, we're having the same problem, like... Let, let me give you an example of how stupid rent is at the moment. So, um, I live in a place, oh, would I be doxing myself if I said this? Uh, fuck it, I don't have that many viewers, it doesn't matter. So, I, have a, I live in a place called the Bay of Plenty, and there's this town called Tauranga, and 
it's it's quite interesting because in Tauranga, the average rent I would say is somewhere in the ballpark between four hundred to five hundred and fifty dollars a week if you're living in the city center. If you're living in some of the outer edges, you're probably going to be around the three fifty to four hundred dollar mark. But if you go ten minutes towards the ocean and you start living in a place called Mount Monganui, uh the rent per week somewhere in the ballpark of well, some people play, pay weekly, some people pay fortnightly, but it's it, it's more common for weekly than fortnightly. And that's all down to how people get paid here. Because some people get paid fortnightly, some people get paid weekly. It's a lot of different ways people get paid here. But yeah, anyway, just get back. Oof. I, I don't know, mentally speaking, I don't know if I could handle it monthly. I prefer weekly, because I, I prefer to pay my rent as I get paid. Yeah. Anyway, um, just getting back to the, how silly rent is getting. So, that's, so, if you're in Tauranga, it's the 400 to 500, 400 to $550 mark per week. If you're living in the outer areas, it's probably closer to 350 to four hundred dollars and that's for like your basic uh two to three bedroom house with like maybe one parking space off street however if you go 10 minute 10 20 minutes towards the ocean to mount monganui it's been going up in recent months and i think the most common per weekly price that i see for the exact same property Yeah, but like for the exact same property per week, the price is approaching the one thousand to two thousand dollar mark per week for the exact same property. Nothing else changes, and it's probably in shit condi shit er condition. So yeah, we're, we're not doing too great. <laughs> So, it's just because of how, again, a lot of it's, a lot of it's greed, I'm not going to lie, but a lot of what it comes down to is people in New Zealand use rent to pay off their mortgages, and because of how interest rate rates are affecting us, uh, that causes rent to go up, and then you have, like, additional costs as well, like, recent, in recent years, we've also had we passed what's called the Healthy Homes Act, which, generally speaking, requires landlords to install heat pumps, which is an additional cost, so that adds on to it. And it's just a never-ending reason to charge people shit. But also, a lot of what it is is to do with how much houses are selling for at the moment. So, um... So, I once, I like, houses are stupid. Like, to give everyone an idea of how fucked house, housing prices are, is I, when I went to university, I was with a, I was good friends with someone who, I, unfortunately, I'm not with anymore, who um, lived in a dilapidated flat. And by dilapidated, oh, I remember this book. I'm, I'm keeping this. Um... And it, it was bad, man. It was like everything you could possibly expect to be wrong with a flat was wrong with this flat. There was mold, holes in the wall. And I distinctly remember this one... There was this one light switch. Do we have... Yeah. But I distinctly remember this one light switch. Uh, which, um... Come on. Come on. Uh, it was hanging off the wall, and I tried to turn it off because I wanted to go the fuck to sleep. Ow! Fuck! Because uh, I wanted to go the fuck to sleep, right? I touched it, and I almost electrocuted myself. 
So it was bad. <laughs> it was not in a good way. So I was I just carried on, didn't mind anything. Yeah, it was bad. So I didn't carry on, didn't mind Oh god damn it's Skyrim crash. So I carried on um with my life, didn't think much of it, and then I heard that the property sold um recently and I was like, oh okay. And keep in mind, this was back in I believe pre pandemic times, like two thousand eighteen to nineteen, I believe. Uh that property I want uh, keep in mind this is Okay, it was one, it was a, a entry, it had a lounge, it had a smaller lounge, and it had a master bedroom with a smaller bedroom off to one side. I want you to guess how much that property sold for in shit condition back in 2018 or 19. Just, I, I just want to see if you can guess how much it sold for. Just, just take a guess. So I can almost guarantee you won't get close. Yeah, just just t take a guess what you think it would be sold for. Give a gander. Yeah. Just Oh, nope, not even close. <laughs> not even close, you are way off. That property, back in 2018 or 19, in shit condition, with all that shit wrong with it, $1.2 million. $1.2 that's what it sold for. I'm not joking. <laughs> Like, in Mount Monganui, that's what it sold for. Like, and that's not an uncommon story. There have been stories all throughout New Zealand in major city centres where the most shit property will sell for, like, millions. And you have to keep in mind, it's... It's... What it's been sold for is not the property itself. It's for the land that the property is on. Because people will buy it, rent it out, wait till the mortgage... Uh, property investors... Because property invest, because what we're ha having in New Zealand is the same problem as what's happening in the states, where you have people who buy up rental properties and then rent them out as business assets. So they'll have um, all these properties, there and there are more books to be recovered and secured in the arcade. All right, I wrote down the last place I'd heard. Okay. About. Don't get killed. Let's work through official whatever so I found Charles' work. I'll start translating it. Shouldn't take me more than a day or two. Yeah, anyway, um uh, yeah, so you'll have companies whose entire business model is buy up houses and rent them out, and that's it. And that's the problem we're having because a lot of people are still doing that. Which is why rents which is why it's A impossible to buy a house and B impossible to find cheap rent. So yeah, <laughs> we're, we're, we're not having a very good time. So just quiet word from me to you, if you're planning on renting in New Zealand, <laughs> don't. <laughs> just don't do it. It's not worth it. I can... Wait, yeah. Yeah, and it's not just companies doing it. Like, we still have the traditional mall... Mum and pop. Okay. So, like, like I said, a lot of what's pushing rent up at the moment is um, interest hikes on mortgages. So, when interest, so in the um, God, Mike gets nervous. Uh, God, what is it? It's the when the official cash rate gets affected in New Zealand. That then push, makes it uh, more expensive to pay off your mortgage because your interest rate will go up. So that then is offloaded to the renter, which you can argue the ethics of that, which then pushes rent up. And then you have property valuation, which also pushes the rent up. And then you have people 
uh, just wanting money, so that pushes the rent up. And then you have what houses sell for in the area. And because that always goes up, that always pushes the rent up. And it's just a never-ending cascade of um, houses being treated as assets, which, when they increase over time, as value. Which, yeah, it is... It's it's not good for renters at the moment like it's actually gotten to a point where buying a house for me personally at least in my lifetime is not what i'm worried about i'm worried about saving for retirement and i'm only like 30. that's how bad rent is right now I'm a sailor on the North Wind. We're laying over in Windhelm for a while. Yeah. I'm I'm not doing too great, if you haven't figured out. <laughs> this is like the great Kiwi dream is work hard, perfect your craft, and get to a point where you can buy a house, and once you've done that, you've made it, but that's no longer possible for a lot of the people in my country so now it's like we're more concerned about our own survival and yeah it's it's doing people a massive heck God, it might get nervous. Oh. while we're wasting time and wind and resources chasing a legend we don't even know it exists the strong folks are excellent you've done us a great service and here is your reward for you Travel safely. Damn the yarl. You're alive. I owe Rufnik a drink. But I yeah. have to admit, I didn't think we'd be seeing you again. I misjudged you. You're definitely Stormcloak material. It's time we made this official. You ready to take the oath? Oh. You can stick a sword. We're not just fighting Imperials. But yeah, well that that's By what I've questioned because whenever I've seen these prices pop up, um, of the people, like on Facebook, um, not just on, a um, repeat after me. yeah, I do square my yeah I do ask the question of who the hell can afford this, but yeah, Stormcloak. Jarl of Vindhelm but yeah, and true High King of Skyrim. it would have to be someone earning insane amounts of money and. The really shitty thing is even to my lord as to my fellow brothers and sisters in arms. All hail the Stormcloak, the true sons and daughters of Skyrim. Which means you get this hell. Oh, and here. You're a Stormcloak now. You ought to look the part. Yeah. Hello. Damn faithless Imperials. Okay, apparel. Gauntlets. Um, white helmet. Uh, what's my weight at at the moment? Uh, I'm gauntlet. I'm shield. No. Ha -ha. This one. Yeah. Does it even exist? I hate that the fact that this is normal, but you know, what else can you do? Like, it's gotten so bad that there is a company, like, one of the banks is offering rent to buy as an alternative to loans. Indeed. Uh, you said the city was safe now. Oh, be it slave. We should visit the Bloodworks to talk to Wound first. Oh, yeah. It's not where unique to where I live. It's wrong. all throughout the country. Proud to 
proud to admit that I need a bit of help from time to time. Good day. Name's New. I'm the cook. Oh, don't tell me this mission is glitched. Um. All right, now I know what I need to do. Um, well, I suppose I could. But I've noticed it's interesting, because across the hill from where I live is another region where technically it should be cheaper to live, um, but you can't find any rentals, and the ones that you do are ridiculously expensive. But where I live, um, um, the rentals are generally speaking expensive, let me know when you've looked just in time. She's been dispatched. You should probably speak to her. Finally, someone around here that can get things done. Yeah, um, but where I live, the rent's generally expensive, but there are a lot of rentals, so. Finally, someone around here so yeah, can get things done. It Since can be done. And then there's also the issue of are people hiring no for my particular job Anything in that area. Halden? I've heard of the man, so, yeah. but never guessed he'd join up with some pirates. Yeah. Another problem this we have is where I live, people thought. generally speaking Heads don't to like ship. to train we'll plan the assault on um, train unexperienced staff to do jobs. Like to give you an example, I am working in civil engineering, which if you don't know what that is, it's we put in services for it's where we put in services for things like, you know, water, sewage, that sort of thing. And one of the major departments the in there is um, excavation or earthworks. So I have tried to get trained in that for like almost a year now. And it's virtually impossible. And it's not a situation unique to my company. It's all throughout New Zealand. No one wants to train um, juniors in using heavy equipment. And they would much rather get people from overseas to do that who have the experience than to take the risk of training well, someone with no are. experience. So there's also issues like that as well, where getting into high school jobs is by and large outsourced rather than trained internally. And it, has, it is an issue that has been raised in, this co in my company before, but it's slow goings trying to get management to invest in stuff. And yeah, it's it's ye. Hard to Halden if we take care of him, the way should be clear to mm -hmm. properly assault the island. On the whole though, yeah, you know, I've I've been doing fairly well. You've shown yourself useful so far. All these lunks are too afraid of Halden to head in before the fog clears. So God, I go on and on about workplace issues, but I'd rather not. We could put this matter behind us for good. Take yeah, it's really not. It's it's honestly it's honestly not that fun to live here, but where is fun to live at the moment? Like goddamn. Cost of living is a massive issue. Um it's virtually impossible to get like a job in any field you really want to in any country. Uh rent's expensive, food's expensive, cars are ridiculously expensive. And we pretty much have the same problems you do. So the only thing we can really do is focus on the positives and 